Hello everyone, Emmanuel here. In today's fast tutorial, we're going to see how to create chains and chain mills in Designer. So let's get started. Remember, if you like our videos, you can support the content via Patreon or by buying some of our plugins. The links are in the description. First, we need an initial shape. What is important here is that the shape needs to have a gradient. So a simple shape node with a paraboloid or a polygon 2 node could be a good choice. Then we connect it to a curve node. And what we want here is to create a donut like shape with a hole in the center. For example, something like this. If we want more control of the overall shape, we can add a levels afterwards. This can be especially helpful to avoid overlapping links. Then we need to give the link a tilt, so we multiply the shape by a vertical linear gradient. And we add an auto levels to ensure that we are using the full 0 to 1 range. If we want to save up some performance, we can reduce the width of the gradient, since the only thing that we really care about is the height. The results should look something like this. Then we use a transform node to tile the shape only horizontally. I use a second transform to rotate it 180 degrees. Finally, we blend it with a max lighting mode. Adjust the offset. and we have a chain. With the setup ready, we can try different shapes. For example, we can use a polygon 2 node to create some interesting chains. or use a shape node with a capsule for a more traditional chain. We can even play with the curve node to create a more interesting profile. Now this is nice if we want some straight chains, but if we want them with some curvature on them, we can use a splatter circular node with two image inputs. The first one is the link we created, and the second one is the same link rotated 180 degrees. We can use a transform node to do that.
we adjust the amount and we have a circular chain. If we want only a segment, we just adjust the spread and the pattern amount. We can even play with the radius random to create a more interesting chain. Another cool thing we can do is a chain mill. So let's create a tall generator. Then we use a transform node to rotate it 180 degrees. And blend it with a max lighten mode. Finally, we adjust the offset. And we have many chains. Now to make the chain mill, all we need to do is repeat the transform and the blend. So we add another transform node, and another blend node, adjust the offset, and we have a chainmail. This method will work with most roundish like shapes, like circles, polygons, etc. And as you can see, it's pretty easy to do. For more complex chains like spirals or complex curves, you can use an FX node, or if you're in Painter, you can use a dynamic stroke. But that probably will be a future tutorial, so don't forget to like and subscribe. See you next time.